Second Corinthians chapter 10 Now I, Paul, myself entreat you by the humility and gentleness of Christ, I, who in your presence am lowly among you, but being absent and bold towards you, yes, I beg you that I may not, when present, show courage with the confidence with which I intend to be bold against some, who consider us to be walking according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we don't wage war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but mighty before God, to the throwing down of strongholds, throwing down imaginations and every high thing that is exalted against the knowledge of God, and bring every thought into captivity through the obedience of Christ, and being in readiness to avenge all disobedience when your obedience is made full. Do you look at things only as they appear in front of your face? If anyone trusts in himself that he is Christ, let him consider this again with himself, that even as he is Christ, so we also are Christ. For even if I boast somewhat abundantly concerning our authority, which the Lord gave for building you up and not for casting you down, I will not be ashamed that I may not seem as if I desire to terrify you by my letters. For his letters, they say, are weighty and strong, but his bodily presence is weak, and his speech is despised. Let such a person consider this, that what we are in word by letters when we are absent, such are we also indeed when we are present. But we are not bold to number or compare ourselves with some of those who commend themselves, for they themselves measuring themselves by themselves, and comparing themselves with themselves, are without understanding. But we will not boast beyond proper limits, but within the boundaries with which God appointed to us, which reach even to you. For we don't stretch ourselves too much, as though we didn't reach to you. For we came even as far as to you with the good news of Christ, not boasting beyond proper limits and other men's neighbors, but having hope that as your faith grows, we will be abundantly enlarged by you in our sphere of influence asked to preach the good news even to the parts beyond you, not to boast in what someone else has already done, but he who boasts, let him boast in Yahweh, for it isn't he who commends himself who is approved of whom the Lord commends.